what is up guys how you guys doing happy thursday so the thing is i have been extremely busy okay that's why i didn't bring you guys no content yesterday woke up today realized it's the meet the teacher day i had to go get some last of school shit okay my nails are not dirty guys that is gel color at the tips where i have to soak them i haven't even had time to get my nails done so don't be judging me y'all y'all know they never look like this but i have to be loyal to you guys and i wanted to make sure i brought you guys some content today since i didn't do so yesterday so this is all out of love for you guys all right because i could just jump in the shower and lay in that bed but hell i love you guys by the way y'all hit this like button it sends an energetic donation out to me this is going to be general it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit but if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box okay now let's get right into this this is just going to be general for the collective's person okay we're not doing divine masculine we're not doing karmic we're not doing um feminine this is just whether you're a female or a male out there we're going to get your person's energy at this time and see what they got going on okay let's see spirit ancestors and guides for the collective spirit ancestors and guides overall energy at this time for the collective person spirit ancestors and guides the collective person spirit ancestors and guides the collective person's overall energy spirit ancestors and guys let's see what we have moving forward the first step is taken within our stillness okay so this is somebody that has been stuck for a long time you know not making a decision on what they want to do this could be a situation where it's anything right they could be stuck in um, a, a relationship that they don't want to be in they have been non-committal for a while and they haven't made a choice like that to commit to you but this is somebody that is like they've been waiting to make a decision here and they're finally moving forward out of that stillness okay so whatever um your person is going through they're definitely leaving something behind at this time okay they're finally taking the steps after having you waiting for a long time or going through this period of nothingness now they're they're moving forward and they're leaving something behind melting mask is at the bottom allow your spirit self to shine through them so it's like this person is starting to realize their true self here okay and it's like this facade they're putting on where they have to pretend to be something they're not is fading away okay they're realizing their true self right now this is somebody that is definitely move, moving away from something towards their own fulfillment. Let's see about your person, spirit, ancestors, and guys. The collective person's energy at this time. Soulmate. So this is definitely your soulmate, okay? And this is what they're moving towards. So this is somebody that you've been in separation with for quite some time. You've been missing this person. This person has had you in limbo, wondering where you stood in this relationship, in this connection with them, okay? And that stillness that you felt for quite some time, it's coming to an end. They are coming towards you and leaving something behind. Why? Because you are this person's soulmate. And it's like, even though they're not with you right now, this person is always with you in spirit okay regardless of what you're going through this person is always fucking with you and that's why they can't fight it anymore and they're coming towards you okay bottom of the deck why because you are home to this person okay you guys could have built a life together or lived together and it's like this person literally only feels their peace when they're with you okay you are home to them even if they have another home their peace is with you The collective person's overall energy at this time, spirit, ancestors, and guides. The collective person's overall intimacy and sexual freedom. So this person definitely misses misses you in the bedroom. Okay, we have sexual freedom and intimacy. It's like not only is your sex bomb as fuck and amazing to this person, like you got this person busting nuts like crazy, four 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 on the clock. On top of that, there is also the intimacy issue, right? This person loves holding you. They love cuddling with you. 
they love being free to explore it's like if they're in another karmic situation they have to do like missionary the same old bullshit right but with you they can explore and I'm not talking about like you're just freaky as fuck and let them do whatever. But it's like they can be their selves sexually in the bedroom. And not only that, I feel like this person is very, like, you are very loving. You touch them, you hold them. I felt rubbing, just rubbing the arm like this, right? And they crave that. They crave your touch. They don't just crave the sex, even though that is amazing to them. They are craving that intimacy, and they miss that. And what you don't see is they are definitely manifesting um, this connection back into their lives. Um, but it's all starting with them walking away from something else, okay? Y'all, I'm OCD. I don't like the way these are looking. Let's see what shadow work your person is doing, collective. Let's see what, what shadow work your person has going on, collective. Today for tomorrow. So I definitely feel like this is your twin flame. Look at the twins on here, okay? And we have a soulmate card. And this person is like... Is, you know how that saying where it's like... Um, live for today not for tomorrow i feel like and you know i read intuitively i know what these cards mean but in this situation i feel like this person is it's like no i'm not just living for today i want to live for tomorrow and the next day in my future i just heard this person is is like once they're forever home where they're truly happy but there's something look there's some kind of karmic situation that they're chained to and it's making them angry as fuck it's because it's taken this person a long time to let go of this karmic situation a long long time okay to the point where this person's getting frustrated wondering like am I ever going to be able to let go of this situation but I feel like this person is finally ready to live like the rest like not just for today I'm ready to live for the rest of my life and I feel like the rest of their life is you their soulmate okay but there is something that's keeping them chained to them and it's pissing them off like something got their hook in them right where they have to fake it to make it. They're over here faking it to make it. Pretending like they're happy. Pretending. You know what I'm saying? When this person wants nothing but to come towards you at this time. Let's see. What is this person's overall energy towards the collective at this time, spirit? The thinking man and the thinking woman. I cannot make this shit up. You, this is your twin flame. This is your divine counterpart. You guys are mirroring one another okay and the crazy thing is you're over here thinking about this person constantly and this person is over here thinking about you constantly why y'all just thinking about each other and why not reach out and communicate i don't know why your person's if there's no communication okay but there's it's because they're letting go of something they're walking away from another situation here this person doesn't know what to say to you, okay? It's like they don't even know how to to approach you. So if there is no communication, it's like they don't even know what to say to you, okay? But this person has been watching you. They're definitely watching you on social media. You're this person's wish fulfillment. And, and you know, you're their garden. They want to be with you. But you see how this little girl, she's standing on the outside of the gate to the beautiful garden, scared to walk through, scared to take that leap of faith. So instead, she's just standing back watching the garden. That's what this person is doing, okay? Instead of coming towards you, they're standing back watching you and stalking you instead of coming towards their happiness why because they're all tied up in another situation there's definitely this is my karmic card there is a karmic situation here that they are stuck in that they have been stuck in for quite some time okay and it's had them conflicted within themselves about you but because it's like they hurt you for this karmic situation okay or you know they they played you for this karmic situation something happened here and it's like you are this person's true happiness but the thing is spirit is not going to give them like bring you to them 
until look spirit come through until they walk away from this other situation and that's exactly what they're doing they are tired of being tied up and watching you watching you go on and be happy and move forward and it's like ultimately if they keep on bullshitting you will walk away towards something better so that's why it's like this person it's like you guys are mirroring each other because you're wanting to walk away from them and they're walking away from another situation right oh the twin flame dynamic let's see collectives person how is collectives person feeling about the collective spirit ancestors and guides 10 10 on the clock okay they really pray okay that you look what you what they want from you is forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love this could be a message from you because you're at this point where like nah they put you in this third party situation they're dealing with this karmic they hurt you for this karmic over and over and you're like man fuck that you hold a lot of resentment towards this person you like don't even really have much to say you want to cuss this person out every time you talk to them but spirit is telling you holding that resentment is it's going to block the flow of love between you and this person this is your twin flame it is you know and this person is going to come to you for this forgiveness and empathy they're hoping that you understand this is i am open to seeing both sides of the situation so they're hoping you're not just looking at it from your standpoint where it's like you hurt me you did this you did this they're hoping you understand the reason why they dealt with this karmic there could have been children involved they could have had a history this person could have been sick all that type of shit and they would want you they just want you to understand like if you were in that situation where it came to your kids or you know what i'm saying like let them deal with that shit and they would have they'd understand that too this person loves you unconditionally okay and they're praying that you understand why they did what they did spirit wants you to have patience okay divine timing is at work in your love life i accept that everything's happening in divine order and that's where this empathy comes in because the thing is you're not trying to see it from their side you're like nah bitch you did this you did that you hell fucking not nah. i don't understand that because i was the one sitting here in pain right but this person Person is hoping you understand that everything is happening in divine order the you it's up to the universe not your person karma especially when you finally meet your twin flame and this is what i'm getting a lot of questions like this person is a divine masculine he's a player a cheater and a mani manipulator why why you deal with somebody that's dealing with the karmic why you know love yourself more that's a person that's never been in union with their twin flame Okay, because of somebody that has met their twin flame understands that everything or this is somebody that's not spiritual like they could have met their twin flame but they're not spiritually ascended people who are asking those kind of questions still have spiritual growing why because a true twin flame counterpart understands that we have karma that rolls over from our past life with people that we have to work through and end the right way in order to come in into alignment with our twin so while they're complaining they're over there with the karmic they're hurting me no the universe is ending and working through karmic situations to a line you two together whether it be in this lifetime or the next all this is about spiritual evolution and yes it teaches you about self-love while you're going through this shit right and that's what spirit wants you to know have patience everything is happening in divine order all this was meant to happen this karmic situation them learning them having to go through the process this is spiritually helping them grow while you have gone through the dark night of the soul and also have had to spiritually grow and that's where this empathy comes in and that's where spirit wants you to have patience and understand that this was meant to be and stop holding resentment okay all right let's get engagement okay which you don't see coming let's see any angel messages for the collective regarding this person i cannot make this up reconciliation somebody from your past is returning to your love life right and i feel like this is after after a time when they have dealt with something with somebody that is not good for them right they're dealing, there's no not enough <coughs> attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going y'all sorry i quit smoking two weeks ago and i'm feeling the aftermath of it okay but um yeah yeah um they were in a situation with a karmic and they're coming back towards you they do want engagement i feel like you guys will start getting to know each other it's like 
It's like now that they are letting go of this karmic, they can truly reveal their innermost selves to you and fully be free around you. And this is going to make your bond deepen even more. This is going to make them even more attracted to you and you to them. Okay? So let's get some advice from the universe for you guys and then we'll close this out. Advice for from the universe for the collective about this person, spirit. The Knight of Swords, okay? This is somebody that's focused, driven, and this is somebody that's coming towards you quite fast. So if you've been waiting for quite some time, this person has had you in a state of limbo for a long time. Yeah, this person is coming towards you quite fast. And Spirit wants you to not be so emotional when it comes to this person because, like, your immediate reaction to what they say is going to be to want to, like, cuss them out be like, hell no, I don't want to hear it. But Spirit is saying to choose intellectual responses to the challenge that you're feeling rather than emotional with this person okay because there are some sudden and unexpected changes coming quite fast for you okay the nine of pentacles that's you pre-empress mode right uh, enjoying the fruits of your labor but I feel like this is you you've put in the hard work you have went through like the dark night of the soul and spirit and the universe is going to be blessing you because of that you have three nights okay you could have you have two knights and a king so you can have two younger people and then one person that completely got their shit together or uh, in their energy okay but this is somebody that's coming towards you very, very passionately, very passionately. They are trusting their intuition and they like the passion and the love and the chemistry is there. And that's why this person, they want to be the loyal, dedicated person that you deserve. They want to be somebody that you can look up to, that you're proud of, right? This all person also wants to make sure they're financially stable. But at the end of the day, look, they're ready to come in and finally put the work in with you. This, you're over here, you're hard at work, you're not paying attention to much of shit, and he is completely and 100% focused on you, okay? And that's what they're ready to do, is focus on what they should have done in the first place, which was you, okay? Alright, that's what I have for you guys. If it resonates, comment below, let me know. Until next time, my loves, peace.